Hello, I'd like to present our method called Minglog3D for point cloud based place recognition using a global point cloud descriptor. This slide illustrates the general idea behind the place recognition based on a global descriptor. A global descriptor in the form of low dimensional real valued vector is computed for each query point cloud and geotag database point clouds. Localization is performed by searching the database for geotagged point clouds with closest descriptors. The first learning based method for point cloud based place recognition was PointNet Vlad. Its feature extraction layer is based on PointNet architecture. Then local features are aggregated using NetVlad layer to produce a global descriptor. Unfortunately, PointNet is not well suited to extract informative local features. To overcome this weakness, later methods enhance vanilla pointed architecture by adding different mechanisms to capture local contextual information. State-of-the-art LPDNet method uses rather complex design and combines learning-based and handcrafted local features. 3D points are enhanced with 10 pre-computed handcrafted features and processed by PointNet module, then fed to graph neural network to aggregate neighborhood features, then process using PointNet module again and then fed to NetVlad layer to compute a global descriptor. LPDNet surpasses previous state-of-the-art by a large margin, however at the expense of architectural and computational complexity. Increasing complexity of methods based on PointNet architecture motivated us to investigate feasibility of using alternative approach, which was sparse voxelized representation and sparse 3D convolutions, as recently they proved successful in many 3D vision tasks. Our method, called Minglog3D, has a simple and effective architecture and outperforms prior state of the art. Minglog3D consists of two parts, local feature extraction network followed by a feature aggregation layer. The input point cloud is first quantized into a sparse voxelized representation and processed by local feature extraction network. In order to increase receptive field and produce features with richer semantic content, we adapted feature pyramid network design pattern. Point clouds are first processed in the bottom-up direction then processing continues in top-down direction. Feature maps produced by top-down blocks are upsampled and fused with feature maps produced by bottom-up blocks. Different than prior methods, we use a simple generalized mean pooling layer to aggregate local features into a discriminative global point cloud descriptor. To train our network, we use a classic deep metric learning approach with triplet margin loss. We use batch hard negative mining to mine informative training triplets. During experiments, we noticed where with large batch sizes, a training process is prone to collapse, where all embeddings approach the same value. To overcome this difficulty, we use a simple and effective dynamic batch sizing strategy. Minglog3D achieves state-of-the-art results on point cloud-based place recognition benchmarks. Results produced by a trained network are visualized on this slide. For each query point cloud on the left, it's five Closest nearest neighbors found using descriptors computed by the trained network are shown. Clouds in green are true positives, in red, false positives. Quantitative results are shown in this table. Our method outperforms other learning based methods by a large margin. Uh, it improves over the current state of the art LPDNet despite having simpler architecture and being more computationally effective. Bottom table compares complexity and computational efficiency of our method with previous art. Minglog3D has almost 20 times less learning parameters and is computationally very efficient. To conclude, we'd like to highlight that our method produces state-of-the-art results having simpler architecture. The success is contributed to improvements in local feature extraction part. By using 3D convolutions and feature pyramid network design pattern, we are able to extract informative local features that can be combined using simple generalized mean pooling to produce a discriminative global descriptor. Our code and pre-trained model is available on the GitHub. Thank you for your attention.